I think we've heard enough, and I think we've seen enough too. Let's put on, let's put on something different here. It's happening right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we're having a Pier 6 brawl up there right now. Don Owen, you better get out of there. He's trying to make the announcement of this Tag Team Championship match. Ladies and gentlemen, the next event will be one fall for the Northwest Team Championship. Thank you. Well, just let him go, Don. Just let him go. We, we know who they are. <laughs> He better get out of there. All right. In one corner, you got the champions, the Southern Rockers. In the other corner, you got the challengers, the team of Snotty the Body right there. And here comes Top Gun. And if you were watching last Saturday night, you know why Top Gun is in there. And if you weren't watching, you're absolutely shocked, just like we were last Saturday night. Look, double drop kick, clothesline. Oh, the Rockers are rolling. And out goes Top Gun. There are the challengers outside the ring. The champions are inside the ring. This is for the belts. I wish we had a chance to play this clip that we had that showed what happened last Saturday night. Top Gun came into a match that the Southern Rockers were involved in, and I thought he was coming in to help Steve Dahl. No, no, he didn't come in to help Steve Dahl. He came in to hurt him. He came in to pile drive him. I can't believe it. All of a sudden, just boom, like that. The man turns like a snake. Speaking of the snake, Jonathan Boyd right down there that snake draped around his neck and he's supposed to be the manager of the team of Snotty the Body and Top Gun are you kidding me this place is coming unglued we got people wall to wall tree top tall man we're just packing them in here oh baby we have got maybe a record crowd here tonight at the house of action back body drop yes sir Steve Dahl doing it to it and Top Gun maybe have second thoughts now jumping that fence Maybe you should have stayed on the right side, Mr. T.G. Uh, and now uh, his, uh, his new partner, Snotty the Body, trying to shout encouragement to him. <laughs> oh, man. I could not believe it last Saturday night. The Top Gun came in there. And I, I just cannot believe what must be going through Top Gun's mind. I, you know, one thing I'm noticing right now Top Gun's partner, Snotty the Body, he doesn't want to tag in. For some reason, he's avoiding any kind of a tag. He's not extending his hand. He does. Oh, this may not be. This may not be a tag team uh, that you're going to see around here for a very long period of time. If Snotty the Body doesn't start uh, cooperating with his partner there, right now it's Top Gun in there with Steve Dahl. Snotty the Body did make a move to come into the ring in an interference manner, which may be the, uh, the only way he's going to be a partner. Side headlock by Steve Dahl on Top Gun. Man, I, thought I, I never thought I would see this. Never thought I would see this. Could not believe it last Saturday night when it happened. Top Gun taking a turn for the worse, for sure. Into the ropes goes Steve Dahl, coming off the hard shoulder tackle. Leapfrog by Top Gun, beautiful leapfrog. Flying body press by Steve Dahl, one. Two, and Top Gun gets out, but still, no Snotty the Body in there. Now Snotty's uh, talking to his manager, Jonathan Boyd, and the snake. And while Top Gun takes a beating from the hands of Scott Peterson. Now uh, he tagged, he's in there now. And you notice also, in the corner of the Southern Rockers, their valet, Ginger, the beautiful Ginger over there, who used to, there, now, now, now Snotty wants in there when the man's beaten down there. So he's gonna continue the beating. Oh, what a, what a heroic, brave guy this Snotty the Body is, isn't he? Let his partner beat up the guy, wear him down, and then Snotty the Body will come in and he'll take, take a few poses and uh, continue the beating on Scott Peterson. Into the ropes, no, reversal, Snotty into the ropes. And Snotty the Body hangs on, slithers out, just like the snake that's around Jonathan Boyd's neck. Boy, did you see Snotty the Body slither out of there? Woo! Baby! <laughs> Now he makes a tag real fast. Top Gun didn't even know he was going for the tag. Top Gun's got to be wondering, hey, what is this? I've never had a partner like this. 
The guy doesn't want to get in unless I've beaten the other guy down. And now he makes a tag when I, I don't really want to be in here. Look, a look on Top Gun's face. It was about a week ago The Top Gun and Scott Peterson were the best of friends. Top Gun and Steve Dahl, the best of friends. But what a difference a day makes. What a difference a moment makes. It all happened in a moment last Saturday night. But I'll tell you what was behind it. Money. Money. The money of the grappler. He started it all. That's what, that's what turned Top Gun around. He's a money fighter. Yeah. Face first. Into the turnbuckle goes Top Gun. Top Gun comes back. Hard smash into the belly by Top Gun on Scott Peterson. And Peterson once again really hurting. And now Snotty the Body says, come on, come on, tag me now. Tag me. You got the man down. You're beating on him. Matt Gal, give me a tag. All right, now. Now I'll come in here, and I'll continue beating until the guy wakes up, and then I'll get out of here. Now, that's a real good plan Snotty the Body's got here. How would you like to be his partner? <laughs> All right, face first. Into the turnbuckle goes Scott Peterson. Scotty the Body picking up where Top Gun uh, left off. Uh-oh, into the turnbuckle goes Scotty the Body. Chest first, and that took the wind right out of him. He's going to crawl over, you bet. Make a tag. Let me out of here. Sure. Let Top Gun go back in there and and put and dish out the lumps and take him himself. Driving a knee into the chest of Scott Peterson. Top Gun go for the pin. One, two, and uh, Scott Peterson kicks out. Steve Dahl over there is shouting encouragement to his partner. Steve would love to make a tag. Now, Snotty the Body wants to make a tag. Sure, Scott Peterson is hurting. Ah, here comes Scotty. Wham, right into the midsection with a boot. And Scotty the Body working on Scott Peterson. Out goes Peterson on the floor. And now, Snotty the Body feeling pretty good about himself. Jerry lets his partner do all the work. He comes in for a little bit of glory. And he's going to uh, meet Peterson at uh, the ringside. And here comes Snotty the Body. Flying over the top rope. Lands on Scott Peterson. Whoa, baby, a dangerous move by Snotty the Body. But he felt confident enough, and now he goes into his little Chippendales act. Guy, he really did used to be a Chippendale dancer. you believe that? Well, <laughs> that's it. He was a Chippendale dancer. I don't think he was ever anybody's tag team partner, but he was a Chippendale dancer. Now it's Steve Dahl over there encouraging his partner who is really hurting right now. Scott Peterson takes a forearm smash across the chest and that wraps Peterson up on the ropes. Referee Sandy Barr trying to keep Top Gun back. And wait a minute, wait a minute, here comes Jonathan Boyd with that snake. He's got that python in his hand. And you know what Scott Peterson, how he feels about snakes. Right now, Peterson is going crazy in there. He's, he just, he wants to get away from the snake. He wants to get away from Top Gun. And he is hurting. He is really hurting and the belts could be in danger right now. The tag team championship belts could really be in peril because one of the rockers is right. Wait a minute, there's a victory roll by Scott Peterson. And Top Gun trying to make a tag. Cannot reach Snotty the Body. He's rolled up by Peterson. One, two, and now Snotty the Body comes in there. And so does Steve Dahl. I think Scotty the Body sees his role in this as being an interferer. There he goes, Scott Peterson outside. So all Peter, all uh, Snotty wants to do is just interfere with this match and uh, take over where his partner has left off and beating somebody down, as he's doing right now to Scott Peterson outside the ring on the floor. And uh, now poses for the camera. There he goes. Isn't that cute? Eh? I'll tell you, the guy out of... Well, never mind. If you want to get a copy, a brand new copy of WrestleMedia, you'll find out what I think of Snotty the Body. They printed it in the new copy of WrestleMedia. Go down to Richard's Cigar Store in downtown Portland. Get a copy. Uh, Roll up by Scott Peterson on Top Gun, and Top Gun kicks out. Baby, oh baby, what a match this is. What a match in front of a capacity crowd for the tag team titles for the belts. Well, Snotty the Body coming in, drives a fist into the rib of Scott Peterson. Peterson is still hurting. You can see it on his face. It's Snotty into the ropes. It's Snotty! Flies clear over! I don't know what he was heading for there, but he did backfired. Now, takes a flying body, press one, two, and Snotty the body kicks out. And I have a feeling he wants out of there. He wants to crawl over there and make another tag. Right under the legs, and Scott Peterson makes a tag on Steve Dahl. And Snotty the body wants no part of this. Get me out of here. Oh, baby. Now, now it's you better believe what a suplex that was by Steve Dahl. Dahl taking on Top Gun. Say here, 
friend. Take a drop kick. Now it comes back to Stoddy the body. The old snot goes into the turnbuckle. Back body dropped by Steve Dahl. Steve Dahl is a man possessed right now. He's a man possessed. Hey, baby. And in their corner, Ginger, uh, beautiful Ginger, is shouting her encouragement. Over the top rope, that's a disqualification. That's a disqualification, and referee did not see it. Thanks to Top Gun. Scott Peterson, oh, no, 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 he didn't want any part of that snake. He ran into the post, and now Boyd is there with the snake. I think, I think Scott Peterson has passed out. I think he's passed out from that snake. One, two, come on! Can't be! This can't be! First he was thrown into the post. He wasn't really thrown in. He ran into it because the snake was right in front of him. And then Boyd shoves that snake in his face. I think Scott Peterson was either unconscious from the crack into that iron post or from the fear of that snake. This is absolutely, this is injustice. This cannot be. Can you, look what you're seeing out there right now. New tag team champions, Snotty the Body and Top Gun. I cannot believe, I cannot believe what money has done and, uh, and a, a, a six or eight foot python. The referee Sandy Barr trying to explain to Steve Dahl that the only thing he saw was Scott Peterson being pinned. Oh, man. They, they, look, look at Boyd in there with that snake. Let's get out of here. We'll be right back right after this. You're young, but you like to have a new television, a VCR, or a really first-class audio system like this one. But you have no credit? Well, now you do, thanks to Tom Peterson's Young America Instant Credit. If you have a good, regular, steady job and can afford a down payment, then Young America Instant Credit is for you. Within minutes, you may qualify and pay on convenient monthly payments over a year. Choose this 20-inch Zenith Color Television, $299. This five-piece Pioneer Car Stereo System, $197. This 100-watt Sanyo Audio Rack System, complete with CD player, $499. Sharp Video Recorder, only $287. White Westinghouse Washer and Dryer, $468. Or save $246. A complete three-room package. Sofa Love Seat. Five-piece dinette, three-piece bedding set, all ten pieces, only $5.99. Now that's Tom Peterson's The Happy Place to Buy. It's worth the trip. I can feel excitement in the air and excitement tomorrow at Tom Peterson's. We're looking for our big sale at 10 o'clock in the morning. The trolley starts at 11, a free trolley cap, a free Pepsi when you ride the trolley, and of course at Tom Peterson's tomorrow, a free watch with almost everything you buy. Here's a great buy. You just saw it, a two-for-one, a 19-inch sharp color television and a programmable video recorder for only $395. That's all, $395. Young America, it's all there.